took into overtime, but the Hawks come out of this three-game homestand with a 3-2 to two win over Stony Brook. All three goals at the foot of Chanel Johnson. Chanel, your first career multi-goal game, your first career hat, tr hat trick, game winner. How do you feel right now? Um, not many words can express how I feel, though. I feel like it was a team effort. First half, we didn't play as well as the second half, obviously, but we fixed it in the locker room. We came out and we executed. What kind of flipped the switch there? You, you tie up the game and then just a few minutes later you take the lead and then obviously with that goal, what, what kind of changed in that second half? I think support from on the bench. I think everyone was like getting the players on the field pumped up. We were all just in it together and I happened to be in the right spot to get the ball and I finished. Well, congratulations on your night tonight. We'll let you go celebrate with your family <laughs> and uh, we'll bring Coach Natal in now. Thank you. <laughs> Coach, like Chanel said, you go into halftime, you regroup and you immediately tie the game. You go ahead shortly after that. What did you say in that, in that halftime break to, to kind of flip that switch? Well, we, our forwards were dropping too deep into the midfield, so we had to push them higher. And we, want, we wanted to get in behind them, force the back line to turn and chase. And I think we did that in the second half. And as a result of it, we were just, I think we were all over them. You know, Chanel, Chanel's right. She had three great moments. She popped up in the right spot. Um, you know, they were dropping on her, so she was able to run with the ball a bit. And, um, you know, she, she has a shot, um, and she just took advantage of that. What that does for the, for the bench at that point, what, what goes on off the field that maybe we don't see? You know, I, I just think, like Chanel said, this was a whole team effort from everyone on the field um, to everyone on the bench. I think, you know, we emotionally were a little hurt after the last two games, you know. Um, so we know we needed a better effort um, from everyone, and, and that's what happened tonight. And I think the players on the field felt like they had support from everyone on the team, and, and it just happened to be three goals in the second half, and as a result of that, we win the game. Getting this win in overtime propels you forward into Sunday's game at UMass Lowell. What does that do for your team's confidence and morale going into the rest of the conference season and also for Sunday? Uh, this is huge. Like I said, we came off two tough losses against Maine and UNH, and to get this result the way we did is, I, I think it's going to make us a better team. You know, not only that, we beat one of the best teams in the, in the conference. You know, they're athletically good. Um, they they're dangerous in the attack. Um, they defend well. So for us to get three goals against them was was huge. Um, but listen, every game in the conference is going to be tough. UMass Lowell is going to be a tough game. Um, you know, we take it game by game. Well, in this game, the Hawks come away with a 3-2 to two victory, all three goals coming after the halftime break, including Chanel Johnson's game winner in the first overtime. Hawks come away with that 3-2 victory. They'll be at UMass Lowell on Sunday. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for all the details on that game.